Hi, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the show. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Takola Barros, and I am the host of Walk Ready Empowerment Podcast Show. And I want to thank you for taking the time to tune in today. I thank you for coming, kicking it, seeing what we're about. And for those of you who do not know who I am, I provide the tools you need to add faith to your purpose. So by you tuning into this channel today, you're coming to get the tools you need to add fast action tools provided by the Holy Spirit to transform your mind, your emotions, transform your your spirit and your soul to welcome in. So come with an open mind, come with an open heart and be ready to shift. So I'm excited to in- introduce this episode today, which I am going to be announcing something very special. So go ahead, watch the video all the way to the end. I'm going to be announcing something that I have been longing to wait to tell you guys. So make sure, don't forget, subscribe to the channel below. Talk to you soon. Welcome, welcome back to Walk Away the Empowerment Podcast Show with me, Takola. I am the host of the show. I want to welcome you guys for tuning in and coming back. If you are a new listener, I want to welcome you as well. And for all my faithful bloodline breakers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for always tuning in and supporting us. I have some exciting news to announce today for you guys. Um, Today, we're going to talk about words as you guys see we're going to talk about the power of words how are you using your words in this season but before we get started i want to start with your week how was your week you know how we do um let me know how's everything going with you what's up in this time because we know in this time it's a very pivotal moment and honestly god is doing some amazing things during this time and i'm excited to be a participant in it So that goes into my next point is I'm going to be going on a, I want to say a sabbatical. I guess I'll call it a sabbatical, but I'm going to be gone for a while and I'm going to seek the Lord, even though I seek him every week, but I'm going a little deeper to find out exactly um, the next move. Because like I said, it's a very, a very pivotal moment. So we have to make sure that we're tuned in and really hearing what he wants to do with us in this time so i encourage you guys to go in a little deeper with your time with the lord i'm going to be seeking him for over this past um month on walk ready empowerment because we're about to take a major shift i can't really announce it as of yet but when i come back and if you are on my mailing list get on my mailing list because if you're on my mailing list you're going to know exactly where we're going next when i come back so i'll be gone for a while until about the first week of June, I will be announcing exactly when I'll be back um, tuning in to new episodes and recording new episodes. So make sure you guys go ahead and um, sign up for my mailing list. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at Walk Ready Empowerment. And my personal platform is I Am Tacola. So make sure you guys tune in for all updates. And you guys will be the first to know exactly what we will be doing. So that's it for the announcements. Um, I just want to get it out of the way. So now let's start off with words. Okay, words. When we think about words and what they mean to us, when we're using words, when we're speaking things in existence, you know, the word of God says that we should have what we speak. So as we dive into words, you know, over the weekend, I was really doing some studying on words and I was reading this book by um, Kenneth Hagen and it's called Words. And it was something that really stood out to me. And I was like, wow, this is something that I need to share with my um, Walk Word Empowerment family. Like y'all need to know exactly how important it is to when you say something, it's good to stick to the same thing and keep repeating it. You know, sometimes we might sound crazy. Honestly, it might seem redundant and crazy, but in the spirit, you're doing something major in the spirit room. So I want to start there. And the thing that stood out to me was when he said that if we confess one thing and then if we make another confession, then it's nullified. The first confession is nullified. If you change what you say from the first one, 
And it made so much sense. And it, and it really resonated with my spirit, man. Because a lot of times when the Holy Spirit do use me, he, I repeat a lot of words. Like I could repeat the same words over and over and over. And each time when I repeat the word over and over, it's like my spirit man resonate and it's like a fire that's ignited in me. So it makes so much sense that we have to make sure we stay on that path of keep speaking the same thing over and over, even if you don't see it in the natural um, realm. But in the spirit realm, you're doing something major. You're doing damage. You're doing damage, damage, damage. So I want to encourage you guys today to really take out time to, if you confess something, stick to it. Because just, just like for an example, and we all been here, you know, at times when doubt try to kick in and things like that. So we all human, but just for an example, like let's say if you believe in God to provide for you in this season and then you're all on board, you're like, okay, God, yes, you stick it to your confession. Now, this is your confession. You said, God, you're going to provide for me. I'm believing for God to provide for me. And then on the rocky day that you ain't seeing too much, you make a different confession. You say, well, I don't know how these bills going to get paid. You just nullified your first confession, which is believing that God will provide for you because you made a second confession out of your mouth. So the first one is none and void. Yeah. That's how serious our words is. Even I remember the Holy Spirit dealt with me on jokes. It's certain things I can't even joke about, you guys, like seriously. Like I remember making a joke and in the spirit realm, it immediately the Holy Spirit showed up and said, you should have exactly what, what, it, what it was. Even though I was joking, it was a good joke. But he said, and, sh and so should it be for you. And I was like, wait a minute, huh? I was just joking, but I kind of mean it, but I was joking. And I was like, wow. So that's when you know your words really carry weight in the spirit realm. So we have to be really careful with what we are speaking. Um, even when we go and we look into the word of God and we see throughout the Bible that God always used words to interrupt the plan of the enemy. You know, he tell all his disciples to, when he when they go in to possess the land, when they go in and to um, attack the enemy's camp, he says, repeat these things over and over. Just like when Moses went into Israel and he went to Pharaoh and he said, let my people go. Let my people go. If you notice throughout that journey, he kept saying that the Lord sent him back and said, let my people go. Because his confession did not change. He stayed on that because that was powerful what he was doing in the spirit world. Just like it says in Exodus um, 34, 27, it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Write down these words, for in accordance with these words, I have made a covenant with you and Israel. So that even goes to show our written words are very important to God. A lot of you may have the scribe anointing on your life. That's when you can write the word of the Lord. And it should be established because he said, if you write the vision and make it plain, he said, write it down because these words are Holy Spirit led. They're led by the spirit. So now you have done something powerful. You have released the word of God through your writing. Think about it. The whole Bible is Holy Spirit led. They was led to write the words that's in the Bible. So when you're led to write, when you're led to write the words of the Lord, look at it that way. Like it's very important to the kingdom of God because these are words straight from heaven. And these are words that's given from God to you. And that's awesome. Like, oh my God, I don't know about y'all, but. I just have a new outlook on words and how words really create the world that we're living in right now. It's like where you are right now is because of the words that you've spoken in the past. That could be negative or that could be positive. That's why a lot of times the Holy Spirit even lead me to go over words that I have said out of anger or frustration in the past. It could be 10, 15 years ago. 
But you have to repent and renounce those words because those words carry weight, weight in the spirit realm. Then think about what's going on, what's happening. It's major in the kingdom of God. Whether you're angry, whether you send it out of love, it's all the same in the spirit realm. So like it says in Proverbs 16, 24, gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So think about your words like that when you're seeking, when you're seeking God and when you're even walking out your kingdom assignment and you coming into contact with people who don't even know God, but they want to get to know the God that you serve because of how you carry yourself. So we have to always remember that our words are important. So if, just like it says here in scripture, if our words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones, that means you can speak life into someone. If they feeling down, they feeling like they on their last straw or they dealing with something heavy. Well, you are a kingdom agent. You speak life into that situation. You call a soul back. You speak into them. You speak to their spirit, man. If your words are sweet like honeycomb, let's say if it's the opposite and you're speaking negativity. I remember one time this um, lady I was following, she said that y'all probably heard about this experiment. When the guy is a scientist, he did the experiment. He said for like a week, he spoke good, good love words to his plants. He just was speaking like love words, like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're going to grow up and be strong. Words of affirmation over his plants. Positive words. On another set of plants, he spoke negative words. Very negative. And after that week, guess what? The plant that he spoke negative words on died. The one that he spoke the positive words on, it was so beautiful. They grew and it was just beautiful. So, think about it. If you're speaking life over a plant and the plant still lives and you see that the plant you speak in negative over a plant and the plant could die how does that look for a human being it might take a little longer but you're still going to see the manifestation of the words that you speak that's just like if you speak in negativity in your home if somebody else was to come in your home they will begin to feel the negativity in there because if your words are sweet like honeycomb, that means your environment is conducive to the words that you speak. Wow, that's good. So it's very important. I hope you guys are getting this, like it, how important it is to speak life. I know I talk about it a lot on the show, speaking life, just Speak life over your situation, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever it is that God has promised you, or even the lack of, if you're lacking anything, you call those things forth. You call them for what they are, not for what you see in the natural. Because what you see in the natural could fool you. It could fool you. Just like I referenced that scripture with David, the story with David. I like to really separate the Bible into stories because. That's the best way to apply it for me to my life. Um, and each story in the Bible was, is very relevant to how we live. Because even the story with David and the angel that came to David, the, the angel said on the first day, the Lord, heard, when Daniel went on his, I'm sorry, when Daniel went on his fast, and that 21 day fast, the angel of the Lord came after the 21st day. He said, the Lord heard your prayer on the first day. And that scripture always stick out to me. And I even pray that when, when I'm praying, because I'm like, God, just like you heard Daniel the first day, I know you hearing me the first day that I'm seeking you. You're hearing me. But you know what happened with the angel? The angel was caught up in the spirit realm. Because it was a lot of it was a fight to get to him. So think about it. Let's say if Daniel gave up, Daniel didn't speak to the Lord, and Daniel didn't use his words, even though he 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 um used it with fasting, but he prayed to the to the Lord. He prayed, he used his words. 
and that brought manifestation to Daniel. So it, it's very powerful in the words that we use and how we, even though we don't see anything, but it don't matter. The Lord hears your words, whether they be negative or positive. So my question to you is, how are you using your words today? Are you using it to build up or are you using it to tear down? Because we all know it's a time to build and it's a time to tear down. But if we're using the right words to build, you're building somebody else up. You're getting fulfilled as well. Because a lot of times it's twofold. When you have a conversation, when you're using your words, you're talking to somebody. When you get revelation from the Holy Spirit, a lot of times it's twofold. It's what you need and it's what the person needs as well. But he said, if you open up your mouth, he'll fill it. What do he fill it with? Words. So, yeah, like words is needed. But positive words. He said we should build up the kingdom. We should build up the kingdom. We should build his people. But we're building them. Building his people up with words. This is good. Uh -uh. This, this gets me so excited because a lot of times when we look back and we just analyze the things that we have spoken, even in the times when we was ignorant and we didn't know any better, um, the God is so sovereign. That he will bring it to your remembrance of the things that you have spoken out of anger, that place of hurt that you probably forgot about, but God didn't. If you should have the fruit of your words, he want you to be fruitful. So he's going to remind you when you go back and ask him, hey, why this ain't working out? What's going on? Why is it a delay? The Holy Spirit will remind you and say, hey, remember you spoke this on January 15th? You remember this day? He have done that with me. And you have to, hey, you have to take it. He'll convict you. And then you repent and renounce those words. And you speak life over yourself. So you guys know I do not leave the episode without giving you the tools you need to add the faith to your purpose. So the first thing I would say is to get into your words. Get into the word of God and begin to apply the stories to your life. Because the only way to make this thing make sense for you is to take the stories and apply it to your daily life, your situation. And then you're able to apply the word better to your life because you know what's going to happen. When you start to study the word, you're, it's getting into your heart. So now you're going to speak exactly what the word of God says. And you're going to believe. Number two, I'll say be, be slow to speak. That way you are careful of what you are saying. And then you are, you're able to be a good steward of your words. Because when you're slow to speak, think about it. I don't know if you guys tried it before, but when you slow down your speech, you think every word out before you say it. Versus if you're just speaking, you're speaking words and then you're not even giving a second thought on what you're saying, you could end up saying the wrong thing. So if you slow down your speech and deliver your message so people can receive it, then you're careful of your words. You're being a good steward of your words. Then you could go back, you could go back and analyze what you said as well. Because as you analyze what you say, then you're more, that's being a good steward over your words. Yeah. And number three, I would say protect your ear gates. What are you listening to? What is getting in your soul? Because what comes in your ears gets into your heart. So if it enters into your heart, the Bible says that the your mouth speak forth your heart what your heart says. So if it gets into your heart, you're listening to things that's not feeding your soul. And it gets into your heart, your mouth will speak that. Out of your heart, the mouth speaks. So work work on listening to things that feed your soul. What are things, what, what are things that you enjoy? What do you enjoy doing? What do you enjoy listening to? Where are you trying to go? 
those are the words you will begin to ask yourself when you're thinking about listening to different things like audiobooks. Maybe you want to learn something new. Maybe you want to look into a new hobby. Then that's something that's feeding your soul because you can now use this to better yourself. Now it's going to be positivity. So what's going to come out of you now? Now you could be able to teach someone else too. You see how that works? Y'all see the power of protecting God in your heart, your soul. And now they just put that all together right there. It all works out with your words. So if I was to recap today, the most important is watch your words. Be careful what you speak. Speak life. Speak life into your children. Speak life into your family. Speak life Speak life into everyone you come in contact with. And make it a habit of doing it. Even when you are when you get a little frustrated or you have a bad day, just be quiet. Be honest. The Holy Spirit told me plenty of times, don't, just don't say nothing. And if you are talking like me, <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> but I learned to do it. I learned how to do it. But it took practice. It took, it's a process, you guys. It takes practice. It takes you doing these things every single day. Because little by little, it's helping you. It's helping you elevate. It's helping you go to the next level and where God wants you to be. And, and it helps you to be mature. Because if you're a mature person, your language change. When you I wrote something on my social media the other day. It's like, when you truly change, your language change. I can remember when my language completely changed. And that's when I knew something happened. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't even notice it at first. You're like, wait. I don't even talk like I used to talk no more. Like, it's like the Holy Spirit took those filthy words out of my mouth because I he knew it was going to detour my whole life if I would have kept talking like that. So when you truly change, your language change. And I'm going to leave you all with that. And I thank you. That's all I have for you guys today. I thank you for tuning in to the show. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm excited to... Just move forward to Walk Ready Empowerment. We have so many things in store. So I will leave everything in the show notes, what you, what you guys need as far as to keep up with us, with our email list. And as I said earlier, I will be going on the sabbatical to go deeper with the Lord and seek him on a deeper level. And I'm going to come back and I will be announcing around June um, our next step and what we're doing. So. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys for all the episodes. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting Walk Ready Empowerment for this year. It's been an amazing serving. I wouldn't have it no other way, even though it was a lot of fighting, a lot of um things I did experience, but I wouldn't have it no other way because it all works together for the goodness of the Lord. And I'm excited for the vision, the vision that he had for Walk Ready Empowerment. And where we're going, listen, it's amazing. So until next time, oh, make sure you guys go ahead and, you know, even in, in even in those times that you get discouraged or you feel like, go back over the episodes because those words, a lot of times it's good to listen to things more than once, more than twice. I recommend three times because that way it might be something that you miss. A lot of times when we listen to episodes, we're a little distracted sometimes because you're doing a lot of other things. So go back and listen. Those weeks when you get discouraged and you need to be empowered for your week, go back and listen to those episodes, those prior episodes. It still helps because those, it's still Holy Spirit led. So it's still, you're going to get a different revelation every time. So I thank you guys for all this time for this year. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm excited for when I come back with these new episodes and the new journey that we're going to embark on. It's going to be beautiful. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on all social media platforms at I am Tacola. Follow the show at Walk Ready Empowerment Podcast. I will be updating things on there. And make sure you guys sign up for Walk Ready Empower You email list that we have lunch and you would get all the deeds on there. I have so many things that's, um, that I'm writing up to share with my email list. So make sure you guys go ahead. I'm going to leave everything in the show notes. Go ahead and subscribe. 
to our YouTube channel if you guys want the visual of this show. And until next time, I will talk to you guys then. Be blessed.